We're here at the International Telecommunication Union to demonstrate high dynamic range workflows. And there are currently two ways of converting hybrid log gamma into traditional standard dynamic range, um, which is still uh, what the majority of our viewers are using. High dynamic range aims to in include more of the brightness range in an image, so it looks more natural and more like looking out of the window. So what we're showing today is the differences that these two different uh, methods of conversion cause, why it's an issue, and asking the ITU to uh, try and come up with a, a way of harmonizing or allowing conversion between the two different methods. We are having a DVBI demonstrator here and DVBI is the internet version of DVB, digital video broadcasting. And this is useful because you get a more unified experience where you can switch easier between channels, also online. And one of the things we are really looking at is what the future of broadcasting is and how technology developments in program making, program delivery have really changed over the last few years and how they're going to dramatically change over the next five to ten years. One thing that's really important is the standards that we are using to actually make sure that whatever equipment you buy, you can actually receive and enjoy the content that we're making. What we show here is a technology called 5G Broadcast. So we're using the UHF spectrum, the same one that's used for terrestrial TV at the moment in Austria. And what we do is we send IP packets over it. So 5G Broadcast can be used for television, but also for additional services like emergency warning and stuff like this. The amount of services is improving, it is increasing on a yearly basis. So the next two or three years will be really important in how we actually develop technologies, the new standards for digital inclusion, sustainability and accessibility, which are the key messages we need to put out.